Hey guys, I said that I wanted to talk about some language stuff on this channel and I've uh, got this book a long time ago and I figured that I would share it with you guys. It's called Read Japanese Today and the really cool and interesting thing about this book is uh, it takes each it takes 300 characters and it tells you why it looks the way it does. So it's almost like the character etymology of how it became to be. So look, I'll show you the first one that they show you is for the sun, which um, ancient Chinese, the sun looked like that. And then uh, they shortened it to just a circle with a dot in it. And then uh, t they changed it to its final form uh, by uh, squaring everything off. And that's kind of the idea behind the Japanese writing system. What I'm getting from this book is that they've made, uh, they had these, you know, symbols that they used, and then they squared them off once they got to the end. So the squared version of sun looks like that right there. So I thought that that was really neat. Another good example here is tree. The first uh, Chinese used to write it like that. And then um, they simplified it to that and then to uh, that right there and then the final form which they just kind of you know squared everything off made it look a little bit better is right there so actually in the, that little shot right there you can see this is the beginning kind of a middle stage and then the end stage down there and so basically this book goes through 300 um, of these uh, symbols and tells you why they look the way they do. It also tells you how to pronounce it and all that mess too, which is awesome to know. And then they tell you, like, the word for origin or root is basically the symbol for tree. They just added a little line on the bottom there to make it the roots because the original symbol for it was a tree with the roots kind of going more downward and then they made it into just a, a one line going across so they simplified it and they kind of squared it off and all that mess so uh, very interesting uh, look and it also for compound words sorry this video is going longer than I want but uh, it also tells you the meaning of compound words and how it came to be like Japan to say Japan uh, in Japanese it's Nippon or Nihon and that's Sun and tree together because the um, let's see how to put it in here no sun and root sorry because uh, Japan is the origin of the sun is what it, it actually means so it's the sun the sun's origin does that make sense or another one uh, is this Tokyo yeah Tokyo uh, east Wait, hang on. No, okay, that was east. Where's Tokyo? Tokyo is east capital. So this is east, which is a sun coming up behind a tree, the old version of it right there. And then capital, all the Japanese uh, uh, places have these lantern-looking things. And the final form of it looks uh, da, 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 like that and so Tokyo means Eastern capital so it is uh, Eastern and then it continues over here capital see how that is Eastern capital so uh, just really interesting book definitely recommend it. it's by a guy named Ken Wal Lynn Walsh again read Japanese today so uh, if you guys have looked at this book before, let me know down in the comments below, and uh, maybe we can talk some more Japanese soon. Y'all have a good day. If y'all want more videos from me, click that subscribe button and check out some of my other channels right on up here. I'll see y'all in another video. Goodbye.